ain't disrespecting nobody out here. We come out here week in and week out and give honor to black people. We the only ones that love black people. You understand? You can't come up against the word of the Lord and think, give me Psalms 137. Give me, give me Psalms 137. You in the wrong spirit. That's what the goddamn problem is. You in the wrong spirit. We in the right spirit over here. You in the satanic holiday spirit. That's what the problem is with you. And, and hold on. You coming up here threatening brothers. And, and you know what? Threatening brothers. God damn you, man. You ain't putting fear in nobody out here. You ain't putting fear in nobody. I come from 14th Street where you hang at. Euclid. I used to slay dope up there, man. And used to see you up there too. You ain't never stood up for nothing, Negro. Who you think you, who you think you scaring? Who you think you scaring? You ain't scaring nobody. I-S-U-P-K. Shalom, shalom. This is Callum L from London, UK, all the way to the US of A. Listen, subscribe to ISUPK. I'm always on that channel checking out the new knowledge that ISUPK is dropping. Pull your gun and shoot it, man. 
Go ahead and read that again. Now, the book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed. Oh, God said his people are destroyed, man. There's a certain people that's destroyed, man. Everybody ain't destroyed. But black people, you don't even know your nationality, man. You don't care about the drugs that flood in your community. All you care about is a song and a dance. What about when you got to go home? You working Monday through Friday and don't have nothing to show for it, man. Don't have nothing to show for it. And don't give a damn about it, man. Somebody got to come out here and tell you that the white man is destroying you, man. He's killing you. And I'm going to tell you whether you like it or not. If it costs my life, I'm going to tell you that the white man is a goddamn devil that the Bible speaks of. And if you don't like what I'm saying, then put me to death. Because guess what? My life ain't worth nothing in America anyway. I've been dead. The problem is you don't realize that you're dead. We don't. Because thou have rejected knowledge. And because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. God will also reject thee. Look, I'm going to tell you something when they're talking about a woman. I don't, I'm not going to pay homage to a woman. What God said that men are the flock of his pastor. That's what the Bible says. Men are the flock of his pastor. A, woman, a man is, a, is supposed to go to war. Women ain't supposed to be going to war. That's some backwards garbage that America got us into. We supposed to pay homage to a woman. I'm not respecting a woman. I'm supposed to die for a woman if she's right. If she's doing the right thing, she ain't supposed to die for me. You out your goddamn mind. Go to Isaiah 33 and 6, man. Go to Isaiah 33 and 6. These Negroes talking about Mother Earth. The black woman need to be honored. Negro, you just as soft as toilet tissue. You soft, yes, you. You soft, boy. Point blank, you don't, you don't know who you're dealing with right now. Nigga, I can see what I'm dealing with. A homosexual is what I'm dealing with. Yeah, come on, throw it, throw it, throw it. Throw it, throw it. Look, if you're gonna pull your gun and shoot me, I'm right here, kill me. I'm not gonna stop talking. Kill me. Kill me then. Because I'm not coming up off of this corner. I'm gonna stay on this corner, and guess what? And I'm gonna speak the truth. So if you wanna hit me with this speaker, hit me with it. If you wanna shoot me, pull your gun and shoot me. Because guess what? I'm not gonna stop telling you that black people are the greatest people on the face of the earth, and guess what? And you don't know the truth. You don't give a damn about God or your people, man. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse and guess what? If the sister had a CD out here, you Negroes won't even buy the goddamn CD. Look, and she ain't, she ain't got a hundred dollars in her pocket and been out here singing all goddamn day. Taylor Swift ain't got to come out here on the corner and sing. They gave that white devil a multi-million dollar contract and that sister sang better than Taylor Swift. But you know what? Black people too blind to see that. You don't really, you don't really give a damn about your people, man. We don't love one another. That's the goddamn problem. Negro talking about how hard he was, how hard he is. Soft as cotton candy. Three. The book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom. And what? And wisdom. What does it mean to be wise? That's the problem. You can ask black people basic questions and they don't even have the answer. What does it mean to be wise? It means to be able to make a righteous decision over a wrong decision. That's why we in prison all day long all over this country. That's why our women have become lesbians and our men have become homosexuals. Because you know what? We don't know how to make a righteous decision over a wrong decision. You think us coming out here trying to wake black men up, trying to tell them that we've been used, trying to tell them that we've been abused in this country, telling them that they still not free? If you free, then get your ass about the ghetto tomorrow. 
if you're free? If you know so much, why can't you get out the ghetto? Why was your mother in the ghetto? Your grandmother in the ghetto? Why are you, you? Why don't you have the answer on how to get out the ghetto? Right. You know why? Because you don't have no wisdom, right. no knowledge, no understanding. The white man killing you all day and you loving him. You kissing his white ass all day long That's and right. thanking him for killing you. That's right. God damn the white man. That's God right. damn America. That's God right. damn the Pledge of Allegiance. That's and right. God damn they rusty ass flag. That's right. All day long. God damn all of it. We want no cowards in our get, in our get.